Arkansas Razorbacks, and even though it's still early in the SEC season, a big Western Division matchup this afternoon as the Arkansas Razorbacks host the Alabama Crimson Tide. Especially when you're on the road. You have to do the little things to get your victory. Charles Thomas off the dribble, pulls up and nails a three over top of Jemison. Thomas, not known for his, th <laughs> that is just his <laughs> fifth three-pointer of the year. He's now three out of five from beyond the arc. <laughs> Twice the big guy goes and gets it, and we mentioned it. Big, 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 big shot that time. Pickett gets it going from the outside. That's going to be problems for the Razorbacks. And at the other end, that's the thing you can't do against Arkansas. You can't celebrate. There's Thomas. And that was Hendricks that came from the backside with a help defense and got a block of his own. But they can't block Towns. That's nice position. Awfully nice play. Before the game, you know, John Pelfrey's done a nice job of not reinventing the wheel. You know, these top nine players for Arkansas are the nine guys who were so much a part of the deal last year. Weems gets the three to go. Counter, he's playing well, had a good game against Auburn as well. I love his game. He's long, can do so many things. One of the most versatile players, I think, in the SEC. And the Razorbacks get their third turnover. Got to get G on the outside and make Thomas use those feet a little more. Nice ball fake, and that's Mikael Riley. But you see the three-quarter court press this time by Goffrey trying to slow Arkansas down, but you left the wrong guy open. Can't do that. Not with Beverly. Mr. Patrick, you better guard me at all times. Beverly will make you pay every time, and that time he made the tie pay. Arkansas 50% from behind that arc. And shoulder. All day. All day, Tad. He's a left shoulder type guy. You've got to force him another way. Good timeout called by Coach Godfrey. We talked about crowd control. You've got to get them out of it, Dave. They're missing that leadership, and right now, they're struggling here. Mario Hillman checking in for Alabama as well. And the fifth turnover by the Crimson Tide, and Urban makes them pay for it. Well, you've got to get help from the perimeter. They're trying to force it to Hendricks. Hendricks doing all he can. Look at the hustle on the floor. <laughs> and G picks up the loose ball, and, uh, shots, and he's made both of them. That is his fourth point. As Hill tried to go cross-court to Weems, third turnover for Arkansas. Nice use of the left hand that time by Pickett. Couldn't use the right side. Beverly swings it over to Thomas. And not a good decision by Charles Thomas, but he gets it back, and he put it up and in with the left hand. Nice caliber, some of the best in the country. They're going to make you really move the basketball. Town spins on the baseline. That's a pretty move. There's a lot of difference, and that's not... G coming off that 32-point performance in the loss to Florida. He's averaged 22 over the last five. And there is Gary Irvin getting a three. Arkansas... Riley back out on top, G for three, and he barely drew iron. Chases down the loose ball, though, and gets the basket, and that's Alonzo G not hanging his head and staying. Some inside baskets when you really need it. Thomas averaging 10.3 points and five rebounds a game, as that's a nice crossover there, and Brandon Hollinger. Alonzo G, and also for him. Towns battling. Hendricks knocked it away from behind, and finally Darian Towns gets it back and knocks it in. Are very important. I think what John Pelfrey's looking for is just the one. Wow. Darian Towns got a dozen points in the first half of play. He's going to hit the first shot of the game that was a three, but he can't connect there. And Hendricks did not get it off. Still in his hand. Good call by Tony Green right there. And Darian Towns off the bench with a dozen points. Back into this basketball game, and all they want to do is be there at the end. And Towns starting on the bench, and that might get him off the bench because Hendricks missed the shot. Right decision that time, unselfish. Got it to Welsh, just shot it short. And Hendricks beats Hill back down the court. They get tangled up. Hill altered the shot enough, and now Arkansas with numbers. Thomas on the spin, and one. Good decision. Thought about that three, but took it in. He needs a touch. Make Arkansas double-team do something. G with a kick out to Hollinger. 
Boy, he is a nice catch and shoot guard out there. Point attempts. So he has six. There's G with a pull up three. And Alabama's starting to find its stroke a little bit. And I thought it's well, because in the last three, four minutes, nobody's been able to put the ball in the basket. And that's lent itself to contact, but Washington gets the friendly bounce in the two. All this basket interference. Welsh, nice hesitation, and Hendricks with the rotation on the backside. And the big fellow runs the floor, but Towns swats it away. How about these bigs running? Nice look, nice look, Mr. Reed. <laughs> Sends it up to Towns, one heck of a game here. If you see him go upstairs, he just took off just a little bit higher on that last tip. Towns is feeling good right here on the offensive end. There's G again. And he knocks it down over Darian Towns. That's better. I'll take that. The ball fake. He at least put it on the floor to try to attempt to go to the basket. Uh, he's selling for that jump shot quite a bit, though. And Towns. You talked about the left shoulder. And what does he do? In this contest. We were tied early on at 3-3, but other than that, it has been Arkansas who has maintained the lead. Hollinger open for a minute, but Thomas closed out on him. And now Riley, we talked about it, at least Riley. Jemison not back in there, but Riley. Now Both teams, as we mentioned, have now gone zone. Thomas with a kick out. That's tough. That's Sonny tough. Weems catches and goes straight up. And that's it. Nice Hollinger cross. step on Irvin and a nice wraparound to Hendricks for the jam. Like I said, even if he doesn't shoot it, give him a touch against him. Good decision, and you convert. <laughs> Interesting. Just give me the ball. Goes awry, and Alabama with a chance once again to cut into this five-point lead. And that's the way you do it. Closest that Alabama has been now Get since back into this game. Well, what I've seen is they've had Hollinger in playing the point guard quite a bit more. There he is. Just what we talked about. How long do you keep him out? A zone buster. Yeah. He has been active. And so has Richard Hendricks, who swats away the shot from Thomas. And then Hendricks converts at the offensive end. That is why so many match up zone. But you've got to you've got to penetrate and get to that basket. Boy, and you can't leave Hollinger open. He misses, but Jemison sticks it back in. Ball and a chance to tie and send this one into overtime. Riley. Got it to go. The young man out of Pine Bluff comes back home. Irvin. And Thomas for the win. And it's blocked as Jemison comes up with the defensive play. And we are going to overtime. <laughs> it looks like right now they've got not the two three zone and went man to raise it back. And Riley hits a big two-pointer as the shot clock buzzer goes. And he gets the field goal with just over a minute and a half left to put Bama up by two before Gary Irvin answers with a three. Hendricks has it knocked away. And Irvin again. And one. <laughs> Look at the little guy hitting his chest. Look at the I'm going to the rim. I would think so. Alabama using a lot of time, and there is G. And Mark Godfrey quickly takes. He decided to stick with him at the corner. Thomas gets the second, and it is a shot is up, but it's no good. And the Arkansas Razorbacks go to 2-0 in the SEC as they run their record to 13-3, 2-0 in the SEC, Alabama 11-6, and 0-2 and and in the conference. For Damian Fishback, our producer Lance Stewart, and our director Dave Burchett, and our entire Raycom Sports crew, I'm Dave Baker. Thanks for being with us. You've been watching Raycom Sports exclusive coverage of Southeastern Conference basketball.